Yes. Today we commemorate Johnny and Denise's final big breakfast with a personal tribute, a march past of their favorite figures of fun who have graced the show throughout their time in office. At the head of the parade, the British Bulldogs. Next, the three dwarves. A tradition of the show dating back to the days when guests on the show were paid by the inch. And here he is, the hairy mutton. Some of the crowd entering into the spirit of the occasion with you beauty and what beauties they are. And now, no momentous public ceremony will be complete without the Wombles. Yes. No one actually knows why, but they are here anyway. Now, a bevy of women in tabards. That neglected band who owe their status as heroes of the nation to Johnny's tireless promotion of their cause. And now, the pushy mums and dads and daughters. Shoving their daughters right up to the front. Wave, girl, you're on camera. And now, mayors, just a handful of hundreds of thousands of mayors who have appeared on the show, including a Lord Mayor. Nice to see you. No, Ross, God. And look at these Morris dancers. Driving us wild with their crazy tribal rhythms. For the dads, a gaggle of gorgeous, bouncy page three girls. Aren't they lovely? And now, a selection of men wearing hilarious women's coats. Yes, that's my old coat. And bringing up the rear, why it's the marching brass band. What a fitting tribute. a fleet of spitfires to drop a million rose petals on the house. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. We've run out of time. We have to roll the titles. The wonderful, oh. the ever blonde Denise Van oh. Helsing. Thank you. And this is our last big breakfast ever. 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 Oh. Momentous day indeed. Oh. Truly momentous because in just two hours it's all over Denise and myself. Oh. That's the end of our career. You're all here to witness it, as you need a 500 people outside there, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Uh, so, anyway, let's see what we've got some very, very special treats lined up for you this morning. Uh, what we a rare mood have. I'm in. Uh, let's find out what we've got lined up for you this morning. Here we go. <laughs> well, straight after the news, Richard Baker is going to be on an ultra secret mission, ladies and gentlemen, the details of which even he isn't allowed to know. It's Denise. a secret, it's, it's a, a secret. secret. secret yeah. And then at 7.20, we'll be picking up tips on polite ways to say goodbye from etiquette expert Drusilla Vapers. <laughs> and you've got somebody say, and Drusilla. Drusilla. Oh, sorry. A totally inelegant dinner. <laughs> At 7.30, we promise to deliver. It's the last ever. Some of you will be glad to hear this. Vital statistics, ladies and gentlemen. At last. I'm we can... sad. What, about the last ever That's vital statistics? That's a little statistics? tune, vital statistics. Oh, the little tune, which never quite caught on, did it? <laughs> <laughs> the album's out next year. Normally due to the sound uh, in here. No, no disrespect to the sound department. Great bunch of guys. 
Plus, we've got masses of great surprises and outstanding guests. Why, over there is Christopher Biggins. Oh, he's gone. Yeah. Yeah, I, think, I think he's the only one worth really mentioning. This <laughs> uh, thank you very much to all our celebrity guests for coming down here this morning. Uh, Trev, I'm very glad you could make it. Oh, Trevor! <laughs> Trevor Bayliss. Watch him round the pastry girls. It is a cold day today. They put on, <laughs> and, there was, and, they, and they put on quite a display outside, which I know Trev will find here. <laughs> considering his track record. Uh, a majestic live performance. Elvis Costello in the house. <laughs> I've no secret of my love for him, uh, but right now it's your mate. Yes, Jasmine Lowson. Ja Jasmine Lowson with uh, the first of many bulletins today. <laughs> yes, Jasmine. <laughs> Good morning. These are the main stories on Friday the 12th of January. Scotland gets it despite the risk. Hope for a price cut after a mega merger. And the Golden Girl heads for the silver screen. Scotland's about to be used again for target practice with a radioactive weapon. The government's refusing to cancel another nine months of testing of depleted uranium. The stuff dominated the news this week after it emerged that it probably caused cancers which have killed countless troops who served in the Gulf and the Balkans. The ammunition will again be fired in to the Solway Firth of South West Scotland. There are high hopes that the cost of music and computer games will be slashed. Now a mega merger between Time Warner and AOL has got the go-ahead, creating America's biggest media giant. It incorporates TV, music, movies and the net. The deal's worth $106 billion. Consumer watchdogs say the most hyped Christmas present in history has had problems. The PlayStation 2 launch has reportedly been followed by thousands of complaints from parents who forked out £300 apiece. Sony denies there's a widespread problem and has promised to repair or replace faulty machines within 24 hours. Billy Piper is reportedly turning her talented hand to the movies. She's landed a demanding role as a teenage chart topper in a murder mystery called Tabloid. Together with screen legend John Hurt, she'll start filming the Brit flick next week. Here's the sport. The government promised a billion pound boost for youth sport. Tony Blair surrounded himself with some of the cream of our sporting heroes to make the announcement. It was clearly a winning decision. Sport at the top level is very expensive and if we want Britain to do well, that will take an increased amount of money. Diego Maradona seems certain to keep his appointment with Dundee for a forthcoming celebrity game. The World Cup winning chief will need the promised 250 grand fee. On a visit to Italy, he's just been hit with a tax bill for £16 million. That's the Big Breakfast News. Simon's at the house with the weather. Thanks. Thank you very much, Jasmine Lowson. Well, it's another cold day today, I'm afraid, but it should be rather dry. But expect this, yes, it's that horrible, biting northeasterly wind to be tearing through the place today, so it will feel a lot colder than it is. This morning, though, reasonably good. The same kind of template we've had for most of the week. That broken cloud, little bits of sun creeping through, but that biting east wind never really going away. A little bit of rain expected, I'm afraid, in Cornwall. Shouldn't hit us, though, so that's quite good news. This afternoon, very little's changing that penetrating wind. Harder in the south, I'm afraid, than in the north, so that's us again. But pretty much the same outlook, cloud, sunny breaks. That's all from me. I'm back in half an hour. That's back to Tony and Denise. They're doing the weather live in front of 500 people. <laughs> oh, I'm quite abstract about that. Not now, Donna! Not now. In fact, I wonder what it sounds like when 500 people <laughs> roar. <laughs> Not now, Donna. You could. <laughs> Yeah. We would like you all to shout as Donna enters. Go out to go okay. through there. Okay. Not now, Donna. Okay, okay not just wait. Now, Donna, as she comes out. Please. Okay, Donna, air, ladies and gentlemen. Not now. Thank you very much again. We're back out. Here we go. What a lovely noise that was. Easy, Matt. The big fella coming in behind there. Milsey. Yeah, I heard Matt came in early this morning. Ow. Do you know what? I love having these microphones. I feel like Des O'Connor. Yeah, it's fantastic, Marvelous. isn't it? Really much more yeah. professional. You, you hold yours like that, though, This is our last ever talking point, Denise. Oh, okay. So I have to ask you, in the time on tradition, oh. did you watch EastEnders last night? Oh, yes. Do you know what? For the first time, I actually missed it. I missed it as well. 
Yeah. So what are we going to talk about? Has anyone got any, oh, well, let's talk to about. any sort of subjects? Ben uh, let's talk about, I know what you can talk about. Benji Pell on Channel 4, fantastic programme. Okay, thank you very much indeed, John McCrae. No, the dustbin, the garbage, you know all about that. I know you're getting the Oh, yes, him, the beer Benji Pell, fantastic programme. Thank you very much. Anything, anyone else watch anything nice last night? Lionel Blair, you're going to plug something, aren't you? No, no, I'm still at Wimbledon this year. Oh, oh, yeah. I watched that program. Benji watched it. Fantastic. Fantastic oh, program. Uh, Donna Air got Donna... locked out yesterday. Did you, oh, Donna? Three hours to get in my house. But I don't want to talk about that. I want to say Keys, what? Donna. That's what you I need. Know. I <laughs> want to say that I'm going to really miss the pair of you. Oh, Donna. No, Donna, not yet, Donna. <laughs> Time for tears. <laughs> God, so, I'm Johnny, it's been, you've done three years. Three, three years. Yeah, three years. Seems like it as well. So, what have been the best highlights for you? Uh, I, 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 Don't just I, to break you it. love it. I know I do love it, but I tell you it's quite weird. Even this morning, all right there. Even this morning when I when I woke up, I thought, oh shh, not what? another show. Even when I woke up at four, but then I remember this is the last one, and I sprung out. But even then, the effect of that early morning. No, How about that now? But you Perhaps can lie I'm lying in next week. Yeah, I can lie in all next week, and I can and watch spend time with Tabitha. Oh, it's lovely. Oh. She gets her daddy in the morning. No, you're, you're deliberately trying to get me sentimental, but I'm not going to crack all night. <laughs> I'm not going to do the miserable tear drenched Can I just say you did. will crack at the end? I won't. There's no day. You will. Yeah, I've got to tell you, Linton, Linton yesterday came up to my dressing room, just to, like, I was chucking away a few things, and I was just going through a snack bowl, which uh, ro this is like a stadium that roars when you pull out crisps. I've seen it, I've seen it. And I did it, and just looking, I looked up and Linton was just in tears. Oh, no! He just cracked. Just the oh. snack bowl got him. Linton, and ladies and gentlemen, he's been a great friend. Can I just say, this is the perfect opportunity to point out Sturdy's T-shirt all the crew members have this morning. Uh, yes. Uh, Vaughn Free. Lovely, oh. Sturdy. That's lovely. Can I just also point out that Islet Pilar is oh, here yes. now. Oh. As you know, I love Elvis. Uh, Elvis Costello's here. This is Elvis, the Britain's greatest, no, the world's greatest ever Elvis Presley impersonator. Uh -huh. uh, right here with this uh -huh. line. You're performing later for us, aren't you, Isla? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Didn't they tell you? OK. Uh, do you know what? I think we can go out now with our fresh air fanatic, Richard Bacon. Uh, mm -hmm. He's... I, he doesn't even know... Where, well, Maybe it's cold outside. It's a, bi it's a big secret where he is. Richie, uh, what, what a guan this morning? <laughs> Thanks very much. It is... No, it is, it is, it is a very big secret. Uh, essentially, I'm on a top secret mission this morning. I'm not allowed to say uh, where I am, and I won't, because on the show today, uh, we are giving away this. Johnny Vaughan's shed. Later on in the show today, one immensely lucky viewer uh, will become the proud owner of this. We've had a competition on our website. I'm just going to get up on here. Uh, there's proof that it's a shed from the garden. Uh, there's Tom Hanks' autograph spray painted onto it. Uh, in a few minutes' time, I will be delivering it. We've had a lot of fun uh, uprooting it from the Big Breakfast Garden. We've got a crack team of shed experts who've looked after this uh, very precious cargo. I mean, when I say we, I didn't actually get involved in any of the manual work myself, did I, Irish producer Paul? No, I can confirm that. No, thank you very much. <laughs> I just kind of got here late last night. Uh, but anyway, we've picked one winner. Uh, now, th the winner has not been selected at random. We had to choose somebody who we were sure would look after this shed. Uh, find out why the uh, particular person won this shed and who it is in a few minutes' time. Meanwhile, here's how you can win something very special later on in the show. Cloud competition, Gang Fred 2001, and you could win this small but incredibly powerful laptop computer courtesy of activate.co.uk. For your chance of winning, just ask the following question. What do you use to type a document on a computer? A, a keypad, B, a keyhole, or C, a key ring? And call 0900 144 with your answer. Get the January Blues, because all next week, Richard Bacon will be joined by a galaxy of great guest presenters. On Monday, Soap Springs Eternal with Holly Tarthrobs, Natalie Casey and Terry Dwyer. Tuesday, we tantalise you with Patsy Kensit. Wednesday, that's magic with Paul Daniels and the lovely Debbie McGee. Thursday, Lita and Faye step into the presenter's chair. And on Friday, Lita Snowden and Richard Whiteley start the countdown to your new Big Breakfast. All this and more on The Big Breakfast. It's the dawning of a new era. <laughs>